Jack Daniels, Tennessee whiskey. Is it bourbon? That's not what we're here. I don't want to talk That's about that. That's not what we're doing. This isn't this video. Is that why you clicked on this video? Don't click. But there's other videos out there. Yeah. Maybe one day we'll weigh in on that, but that's not why we're here. Why are we here? We're here because we're two Kentuckians that are going to try some Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey. Let's do it. It's bourbon night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And welcome to us two Kentuckians drinking some Tennessee whiskey. Uh, Isn't that fun? Now, why? Yeah. Why are we doing this, Chad? Well, I mean, to answer that question for myself, after we did the Bourbon Night Awards uh, uh -huh. recently, and we got all of those submissions for that Jack Daniel single barrel, uh, barrel proof rye, mm -hmm. we were like, "Are these people crazy? What's going on? This must be really good. It's got overwhelming support." And it yes, is, you know, I won't spoil what it won, but go Pick, check that. Picked up a out. couple wins. We'll say that. But then in that, it's like I want to know what that tastes like. But we had never really explored a Jack Daniels journey. We hadn't. Now, you know, admittedly, Sarah, we are two Kentuckians, uh, born and raised there is, on the playground is where we spent most of our days. But there's a little bit of a Kentucky-Tennessee rival, uh, sports, whiskey, I just mean, in general. So, yes, we are uh, a little biased. Who um, likes orange? Nobody. <laughs> right? Kidding. Okay, so there's a couple, like, disclaimers. Uh, we are Kentuckians. Take that into account. Two is the first three things we're going to try are 80 proof. Yes. That's not the proof point that we live at anymore in our no. bourbon journey. Three, uh, Jack Daniels is owned by Brown Foreman, who also owns Old Forester and historically and more, more, on Wolf and Wolford, more on my side than Sarah's side, but... Yeah. Uh, uh, Woodford and Old Forester, I kind of, it's I'm very selective Historically, on what I like. he's not as much of a fan. Now, for me, I found more that I like, especially in that, like, Whiskey Rose series. A lot of the Old Forester limited release stuff, uh, yeah. especially the higher proof stuff. So, yeah. but we share in that. So, so those that. are some things to keep in mind. Yes. All right, let's get to it uh, with our first Jack Daniels. Gentleman Jack. Yes, it's very small. It's so little. Hey, we don't know if we're going to like it, so we didn't want to <clears throat> spend the money. Jeff Arnett, the master distiller at Jack Daniels, actually says to start with this one. <laughs> the world's smallest uncorking. $27. For not, that? Not for this. <laughs> I'm no. just kidding. Oh my God. I knew that. For a fifth, 80 proof, and its deal is it's twice charcoal. Charcoal. Mellowed, fil filtered, the Lincoln County process. Lincoln. We're talking about 10 feet of maple charcoal that it drips through. It takes three to five days for that to naturally. Two times? They do it twice. Is that where the gen is that why it's a gentleman? That's why, that's it's what you gotta do. If you wanna be a gentleman, you have to drip through charcoal. Slower. And <laughs> 80 proof though, mm. not our area. Honestly, this has brown foreman written all over it. Bananas, bananas. Toasty. Bananas. Mashed. Sweet. Mashed. Very ripe banana. All right. That is super <laughs> banana-y. Wow, that is sweet. It is sweet. And the most banana forward whiskey I have ever tasted. I think it might be the most. It's tropical. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They should put this on a bottle of suntan lotion. It's so tropical. Ooh. Second sip, just super, super duper sweet. Very sweet. Uh, I'm not really getting any oak. Not getting any I get like proof a, like a to speak of. Tiny bit of toasty in there with the banana. Yeah, I guess there could also be a little hint of citrus somewhere in there. That's gonna be a no for me. Yeah, it's still a little too tropical for me. Not proof isn't right. It's yeah, just not for me. No, not 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 for us. But don't worry, we're we're running the gambit. I got a little bit bigger bottle. You did. He <laughs> splurged. I splurged for the two hundred mil. Okay, old number seven. Now we're going to. $19.99 for a fifth cheaper. More affordable. This is actually the entry point, but... But that's where they say to start uh, if you're tasting. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll find out Let's what find that out. Old means. number seven. Less banana on the nose. Yes, agreed. Still a signature brown foreman note, but not yes. as in your not face. Not as pick it out of a lineup right. as yeah. that last one was. Okay. Well, here's some good news, Sarah. What's that news? I like the cheaper one better than the Gentleman Jack. Me too. I have to say, 
It's got some of the similar flavors going on, but I think it's got a little bit more spice than the uh -huh. sweetness. It actually tastes like a whiskey. Yeah, that sweetness <laughs> is tamed down uh, and it's not so tropical, which I can appreciate. Agreed. Versus the first one. Now we should say uh, the mash bill on pretty much all these, except for when they switch to the rye, we're looking at 80% corn, 12% barley and only 8% rye. I, I think it's got more going on, a little bit more character in there. It, I feel like I should add Coke, where's the Coke? <laughs> Coke not included. Yeah, I feel like everything wasn't filtered out of this one. Whereas mm -hmm. the Gentleman Jack, everything was just stripped, filtered out. There was just nothing left. This at least has something in there. Yeah, I feel like you're getting a little bit more of those wood characteristics too. You still know. not my fave. <laughs> still not my fave. Still but... not gonna pick it up and pour myself a glass. Exactly. But we keep on moving up. So the next few bottles that we have are samples that our community has generously donated. So this one is from Adam Dorman and Thank I believe you. he has supplied a few others too. This one is also 80 proof. This is the Jack Daniels number 27. Yeah, the gold uh, double barrel. Gold double barrel. So it's double filtered like the first one, but yep. also double barreled with the second barrel is actually a maple barrel. You know, the so double barreling that we had in this, this guy, guy. But then it's double barreled in, in a sweet barrel. <laughs> A maple barrel. And I think this one retails about a hundred, hundred and five dollars, and it's only available in select markets. That's expensive for an 80 proofer. I don't get much. I don't it get much. It does not smell as sweet as the first one. Yeah, there's yeah. like a little earthy funk going on that I can't quite. Okay. Not I, I was honestly worried about this one. Me too. <laughs> it's not as um definitely not as sweet as I thought it was gonna be. Not as sweet as the gentleman jack. Not as mapley as I thought it was gonna be. And I am getting some barrel. Do you wonder it. if it's when they say maple barrels, like maple wood barrels, maple. and not like a maple. Not like maple syrup or anything. Right, yeah, yeah. 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 But yeah. you know how Knob Creek has that maple. Sure. Yeah. And I was thinking it was gonna be more like that. And ah, I'm actually yeah, yeah, really, yeah. <laughs> really glad that that's not the case. Second sip. Definitely char. Yeah, there's. There's more there. This is probably my favorite of the three. Agreed. But I don't know if I'm gonna be paying $105 for this 80 proof or right here. Proof. Yeah. Well, even even if it wasn't 80 proof, just the way that it is coming off in the glass, it's. If it was like the most delicious 80 proof forever, I could yeah. probably get on board with paying a more premium price for it. Yeah. But I feel, mm, I don't mm, feel no. that way. And it's, even and it's even, tasty. Even uh, Adam. Um, said in his, uh, Adam is a great patron of ours, said in his Patreon message that this isn't the best value of the samples that, okay. that he supplied. Um, it's probably actually the worst of oh, the goodness. ones that he supplied. So, well, well, we're about midway through the show, so we want to take a quick little pause. That's me hitting pause right there, Sarah, and pause. tell you about our home on the internet. Beep. It is whiskeyambitions.com, where you can beep, beep, if you like. Beep, That's beep. where you can get our Glen Cairns, our water glasses, our rocks glasses, our copitas, our sweatshirts, our t-shirts, and more always coming soon. That's whiskeyambitions.com. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and join our community for as little as one buck a month. Mm -hmm. We love to have our patrons. We get their opinions on polls. We give them after the episode exclusives and more all the time. All right, back to that episode that we are now in. All right, we finally get to move up and prove to 100 proof. This Yay. is Jack Daniels Single Barrel Heritage Barrel. That's right. So yeah, like you said, it is 100 proof, but it's also barreled at 100 proof. Um, and they put it in toasted barrels, so that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And then it's stored on the top of their highest rickhouse. Top of right? the warehouse to you. Yeah, and so it's an annual release. This is a 2019 sample, um, but also it comes out, Adam. comes out every year, $65. Hey. That has like a little sp like exotic spice. Gosh, I don't even know, but you get what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Oh. Spicy, brown sugar. I mean, that fruit. is like fruit. It's a, it is like an exotic spice it though, is. or something. There's a little bit of a vintage element in mm. there. There's like some, one, I think like there's a little bit of leather, a little bit of tobacco, mm -hmm. uh, but almost like I've gotten this flavor and some, some vintage, you know, like stuff from the eighties or nineties, which is interesting. Yeah, I think that toasted barrel is giving it these like dark sugary well, there's notes that sweetness in there. There's some the sweetness. Yeah. There's also like a little bit of a bitterness mm -hmm. on the finish that I, I'm still trying to process. Almost like bitters. But exactly. A little bit. A little bit of bitters. Yeah, yeah. a little, little cocktail And I think that's ish. where that like exotic spice is coming in. I will say this one has the best mouthfeel so far. Yeah, 
And it's finally getting a, I guess we have to call it Tennessee hug. Mm. <laughs> Tennessee pat. Yeah, that's some nice vanilla sweetness. A little bit of your typical, I'll say, bourbon flavors. Mm -hmm. The caramel, vanilla, uh, the barrel influence is here finally. Yeah. And decent little finish. I'm just struggling with this vegetal earthy note it's that is earthy. also bitter. And that for me, like I got everything else you said and those parts of it I really like, but I, I'm having trouble getting past that. Definitely the best of the four for me so far. For me, it's between three and four. Another sample from the kindness of our uh, of our Community. good viewers. This is from David. He has whiskey in my wedding ring on Instagram. You should go. Give him a give him a look, but this is the Jack Do you Daniels. Think it's actually in his. I think it's in there. It's I think in he there? just can he just like. This is called a Tennessee Taster. It's from 2019. It's a Tennessee only release. It's a rye. It is a rye, and it's 127.6. We jumped up in that proof. Yeah, we did. I like to see it. So we are going rye. Ooh. Their their rye mash bill jumps up to 70% rye, 18% corn, and 12% barley. Mmm, I like that nose. Yeah. Super rich and caramely mm. and it just smells little warm. Dry spice in there. Yeah, it smells nice and warm. Not hitting you over the head with the alcohol though, with no. at that proof. Yeah, yeah, 127 nice. something. Subtle oaky notes. I'm going in. That's wow. That is spicy. That is a <laughs> spicy Jack Daniels. This is a spicy meatball. Whoa, I um, mean, zip like that has. Spicy bitter though. There's that. All the zest and zip. It almost reminds me of, hmm. this is crazy. Uh, the flavors in this though, do you remember those gumball machines? Like the big yeah. one and you would put the quarter in mm -hmm. and it came all the way. Mm -hmm. And as like if you got one that was like the red one, like cinnamony, oh. but not quite. Cause it was like sugar and cinnamon, but not real cinnamon, cinnamon yeah. flavor. I'm feeling you there, but in my analogy, it would be half a handful of those. The other half of banana runts because that banana flavor has returned here, which is, mm. you know, interesting. Yeah, I just can't get that, like, bit that big gumball, like, <clears throat> texture flavor mm -hmm. out of my head. I haven't thought about those in forever. <laughs> I mean, it's good. I think it lacks maybe a little bit of complexity. It sort of just seems to kind of be hitting you over the head. Yeah, I agree. Like, I'm wanting something with some more richness. And, and I, at that proof, I was really expecting something like an Elijah Craig barrel proof where you get that like, oh, maybe that I'm feel. thinking yeah. bourbon though, that like really almost desserty, mm -hmm. deep, dark sure. notes. And, sure. and it's just not there. So maybe well, I'm just biased, but I'm, it's I'm, too spicy. I'm thinking we might get there with the uh, the 2020 rye, the okay. single barrel rye. That's what I'm thinking. Once we have that, this is going to make this look like a pot of crap. Wow. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Those are some strong words. I don't know. All right. Let's move on. Let's find out. Back to a sample from Adam here. This is a Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof whiskey. Whiskey that's not a rye. See, this is where it becomes uh, problematic when you when you can't say bourbon, because you have bourbon and you have rye. It's Tennessee, Ten it's Tennessee whiskey, whiskey, but it's not a rye Tennessee whiskey. It's a it's not a rye Tennessee whiskey. It could technically be a bourbon, maybe. Oh, Sarah, 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 Sarah shut it down. Shut That's, it down. Where's the okay, shutdown okay. button? One hundred and thirty-three point six proof. Okay, I like that. Yeah. That's different. Familiar smelling. It's like a, a caramel a, cake, but then there's also a candle burning. It's good. It's good nose. It's nice. I like the caramel cake aspect of it. There's something else going on too. It's just yeah. Woo. Mm. Wow. Okay. That, that's got a good kick. <laughs> this might be my one to beat so far. Yeah, this is my favorite. I also have to say though, this one reminds me the most of a Kentucky bourbon. So yeah, like maybe that's why I'm liking it the best. Well, I tell you, I tell you notes. completely what it has the vibes of. It has the vibes of an Old Forester uh, barrel proof. It does, and like I the, like the, that. The one fiftieth or the single barrel barrel proofs that they've done completely makes sense again because they're all under the Brown Foreman roof. Uh, these guys that have their own cooperage. Uh, so does uh, Old Forester. You know, it's the Brown Foreman cooperage. So they're making their own barrels. They're so doing that's, it themselves. That's unique about them. And um, yeah, this just tastes like a really good <sighs> yeah. Old Forester to me. So I do get like a lot of char on this one. A lot of char, a little, a little bitterness, smoky. a little smoky. I like all those things you just said. I like it. it 
for me, it can border on like too much. So this one is on the fine side of that for me. Mm -hmm. um, I, I do still like this. $67 is what Adam paid for this one. I think that's around retail. That ain't bad. No, considering like the Old Forester 150th was over uh, 100, I believe. Definitely, I think it was like 120 to 140. Yeah, um, so that fact that they're similar flavors it's coming in at $67. And it's coming in at 133.6 proof, this particular single barrel. Yeah, um, that's that's a big thumbs up yeah, for us. <laughs> definitely. We have one more left, right? We do, we do, we do, we do. Time to go to that rye that everyone's been a buzzing about. A buzzing. Okay, we're back to samples from David. Whiskey in my wedding ring. He, uh, he gave us three different proofs of the Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Rye 2020 Special Release. What a nice guy! We have the 130.5, we have a 132.6, and we have a 132.4. Let's just go the highest. Okay. <laughs> Let's just do the highest proof. Ooh, yes. Well, not even a little. A little it's just L.E. smelling. Oh, he says it smells fancy. A little bit of spearmint, some earthiness. Yeah, minty, cloves. Mm hmm Great nose. Oh. Wow. Hello. Oh, well. We were right. The, the the rye, the first rye that we had, this one's blowing it away. This one <laughs> makes it look like what a pile rye? of crap, like I what said. What rye? <laughs> <laughs> this. Woo. All right. Okay. okay. There's that. There's the hug. Definitely. But I like how it's playing with like the minty, the spicy, but none of it feels too crazy. Right. Either. Like... Sometimes rye's like that mm. can get to where they only feel wintry or fall, like Christmassy and stuff. And yeah. this doesn't feel that way. Mm -mm. Oh, and it sneaks <laughs> up on you with the hug. I think it's, you know, that 70% rye, it's not a barely legal rye at 51. It's not a high rye rye, at like a 95.5 or 100% rye. 70, I feel like, is a great middle ground. I mean, it is a lingering heat and it's like mm. in there. It's making it home. Let's talk about the mouthfeel, Sarah. The mouthfeel is nice. Oh, it's buttery. Silky buttery. It's buttery, silky. A little uh, creamy, little, would I say? A little, little honey in there. It's an exceptional mouthfeel. And the finish is like some Ooh. delicate balance of... Dances on the tongue. Toasty, smoky, almost effervescent, or like, it's light, you know? It just kind of rolls out. Uh -huh. uh, instead of being like, sometimes whenever you have something with that has a smoky finish like i think we did that with the first dry which were was it was like smoky and spicy and we were like Whew. it doesn't make me feel like that it's almost yeah. like it just evaporates no it, just, it just wants to stay into your senses i don't know it's like it just absorbs into know, your skin but i know this is stupid but it's like intoxicating in that way no i, I, it, hear, you, I hear you it washes over you uh -huh. it's weird Ooh. i never thought that i would have this many nice things to say Sorry. Well, you know, we I got to admit my bias. I didn't think I would. We heard from the whiskey community that it was a force to be reckoned with. Y'all uh, voted for it. As we said, you know, at the top of the show, we talked about the, the Bourbon Night Awards and how this guy won two categories, and we just had to see for ourselves. We just had to find it's out. prompted this episode. Couldn't and let you have all the fun. I will say I am not disappointed in the least. I think it has lived up to the hype. You want to be uh, even more pleasantly surprised, Sarah? Retail on this is sixty-five dollars. <laughs> Where can I get one? Well, no, nowhere right now. I know, not right now. It's a limited edition. This is the first release uh, that was well, twenty twenty, which is what we're drinking. Was the first release of it. Please do it again. With a possible annual release thereafter. Uh, it was comprised of two hundred barrels in total. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm reading off a sheet of paper. Get off my back and was released in single barrel form with proofs ranging from 125 to 140. Uh, wow. The barrels included in this release held whiskey that was subjected to Jack Dan- I love that, subjected. Subjected- Like they went against their will. You will be mellowed to Jack Daniels charcoal <laughs> milling process. And according to the company, were aged at, at, in the highest levels of the Rick House. Of mm -hmm. all the things- I'm so glad we have two other proofs. I know, right? I hope this becomes an annual release because Woo! I would happily spend $65 to get another one of these. I don't think I've ever been so surprised by my own preconceived notions of how I feel about something. Sure. Well, you know, we're used to knowing how we felt about 
this guy right here. Sure. Uh, we hadn't ever had Gentleman Jack, but that is my least favorite by far. Yeah, I gotta say. Yeesh. I also don't think in my experience this. with Jack Daniels that I've had a lot that's over the 100 proof mark. So right. this is such a nice surprise. Yes. Let's do a quick recap. Okay. We'll start with Gentleman Jack. I'm gonna give it a no. Two thumbs downs. Please, no. Jack Daniels, number seven. If you're Better. in college, I would go, I'd go Evan Jim Beam. No, I'll go. Yeah, I'll go Evan Williams. That's where I went. That's where Evan I Williams Black went. Label. Yeah. 86. But yeah. Yeah. That's, sorry. That's, that's a down. That's a nay. The number twenty-seven gold double barrel eighty proof. Okay. That's the most expensive one. Taste wise, yay. Price wise, nay. That's a, nah. Double thumbs that's down. A, no, no, no. We have the uh, single barrel heritage barrel at one hundred proof. Mm. I thought it was. Yeah, well, this was around 65. Mm. Yeah, you know, mm. it's kind of it's kind of there. We have the uh, 2019 Tennessee Taster. That I one was too spicy thought, for me. Yeah, that was the rye. Why when there's this rye over here? Yeah, yeah that so was too spicy. I give that a down. Uh, we had the single barrel barrel proof whiskey, not a rye. Don't know how else to say that. Uh, 133.6 proof. I thought for the price, which was what, $67? $67. Yes. Give it a thumbs up. Yes. I liked it. And then finally, we have the 2020 Jack Daniels single barrel special release barrel proof rye. He did it. <laughs> I did it. Big O thumbs up. Yes. Big yes. O thumbs up. We'll be purchasing Trying. again if they. Trying to well, we trying didn't, to purchase yes. if there's an annual release. Yeah. Caveat, caveat. For um, sure. Wow. I'm still working on it. It's yeah. tasty. Very good. Okay, that will do it for us. Hey, if you're new to the channel and uh, haven't subscribed yet, we'd love to have you. Come on over. You can click right up here to do so. There's suggestions of other videos right down here. And we hope to see you over there in one of those. Yeah, they're right down here. Right down here. Right down here. Thanks, Sarah. Hmm. You're welcome, Chad. Okay. Until next time, we're still going to say it. Drink more bourbon. Drink more bourbon.